What's happening, kids? Um, just wanted to make a quick video here um, as I start the process. This is not my bow, by the way. This is Gaius Carter's, so I appreciate him leaving it here. Um, but basically, some of the stuff I'm going to start talking about, one of the main things that I want to address is called rotational deflection. And, you know, literally that I coined that phrase back in like 10, 11 years ago. But there, I think that there's a lot of misconceptions on what it is, how to mitigate it, and why it matters. And so basically, um, I, have la I have a laser on the end of this arrow, and I have a laser on the end of the stabilizer. So I'm going to show you with these lasers, I'm gonna turn off the light real quick, zoom in, and then zoom back out. But I'm gonna show you what rotational deflection is just as a little teaser. And then when I start making some of the other videos, I'm really gonna get into uh, what it is, how you can mitigate it, and why it matters, and why torque tuning your arrow rest matters even more. Here we go. Those two dots right there are the lasers on the arrow and the stabilizer at brace height. Now I'm gonna bring the bow to full draw and I'm doing this in a shooting machine just so, well, just so there's no confusion on or people saying anything about Oh well, he was he was making it do something that it didn't want to do, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, all right, that's full draw. We'll do this. See where those lasers are now. Had to lift it up, but that. That is the difference right there. And so that, that distance, those lasers were straight. When you come to full draw, they went that far apart and we're only at about 11 yards. But that measurement, that distance is the rotational deflection. Now every bow has it, there's nothing wrong with it, um, but there are some ways to make it, well, not affect you as much. So stay tuned, we're about, we're about ready to head down, I was gonna say Alice's rabbit hole, but anyway, uh, we're fitting to get into some next level stuff. So uh, it's gonna be fun, long overdue, just tired of hearing that phrase out there, but folks not really knowing what it means. So it's go time. <laughs> 